How am I even still wearing them? Oh my God. Anyway, guys, oh, I'm doing this clip on my phone again because I bloody forgot to put the memory card on my camera. Such an amateur. Anyway, so we were just gonna go out for dinner and stuff and walk down to this place called Lincoln Road Mall. It looks really good, like shops, restaurants, bars, everything. We literally just walked out the hotel room, uh, out of the hotel, and we were just both like, do you know what, we're so tired. Like, we are so tired from today. And then we're like, shall we just go back, get something to eat from CVS, some goodies, and then go back to the hotel room? We spent so much time at CVS. What's the time? I think it's about Half seven, seven. Seven, yeah. It's like half seven, so it's not even late, but we're just so tired and we just feel like, you know what, we need an early night. We've been on the go all day, so I think we're just gonna grab some snacks, go back to the hotel room, get a delivery, watch some crime documentaries or something about Miami or whatever. <laughs> we're not doing that to I'm you. joking. No, and then, uh, yeah, just chill. So anyway, we're picking up our snacks, hold on. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna get popcorn. So we used to get this in LA and we used to just absolutely love it. Gross. Nut of butters. These are just, oh look, the miniature ones of, yeah. have you tried the pretzel version of these? Pretzel ones. Flips these. Let's try these. Do you remember these? The no, hot, I don't. Really, really, they, they're like really hot in your mouth. But they're really weird, but they're nice at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> toothpaste. Oh, toothpaste, show me these face. Oh, that was close. Hey guys, this is what we got. We got a Caribbean. We've got some plants in there. And then, oh wow, that does look good, you're right, yeah. I got curried goat and fries and peas. What did you get? Jeez, oh. And we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to bed. Oh, I look a little bit dark. I'll go with it anyway, because there's a palm tree in the background. Oh my God, my, my face looks a bit puffy now. No, it doesn't. I think it's the angle. Mine does, actually mine does a little bit as well. Walk we, faster, what, walk what faster! It? Oh no, it's all the salt in the food. It's making our face go puffy. Anyway, good morning guys. It's day two of our Miami trip and we are so excited because it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're going on our cardio. We are, we've actually got up a little bit later today. You can see it's like light. It's still quite early, which is good. Good morning. So we are gonna head down for some breakfast. Not right now, because we're doing our cardio first, obviously, but we're going, like we're heading the way of this cafe called Cafe a la Folie. Oh, now I really am, Doc. Hello. It's my belly. Um, and it's a cafe that someone recommended to us on Instagram. So we're hoping that it will be really nice. I mean, it does look really nice because it does shit loads of crepes, which is always good because I love crepes with Nutella and banana. Um, this one, it looked French though, weren't it? It had snails yeah. on the menu. Okay, guys, so that is the cafe there behind us. Um, and it's closed. <laughs> we didn't actually check the opening times. And it seems as though, like, well, I mean, it is 24-7 to be fair. Like, the one yesterday opened at 7. I was going to say that was quite late, but it's not late, is it, actually? No, because I think that but one that, was, like, a proper breakfast Yeah, place, but they don't, coffee. like, the, the uh, seats are still up on the table, so it's not like they're even open at half seven. So anyways, yeah. we're going to find somewhere else. So it is actually day four of our Miami trip and I've kind of just been vlogging bits and pieces along the way without trying to make it really long. Um, and also something really annoying happened yesterday which really upset me so I didn't really vlog yesterday because well we didn't really end up doing anything yesterday in the end but 
I'll explain that in a minute. So the last thing that you would have seen is that we went to Wynwood, the art district, which was absolutely incredible. Um, the artwork there is just insane and it wasn't just in that area, it was like all of the surrounding streets as well. So it's like the best artists from all over the world go there and paint. It's just so cool to see. And we actually saw two artists painting as we were walking past on the walls. So I would 100% recommend that. It's a super cool vibe. You get to drive through, obviously like we got an Uber, so you get to drive through some of the streets and stuff before you get there and there's some bars and restaurants we actually made the error of not fully walking around first of all after we'd been in the like paid bit we kind of just went to the first restaurant that we saw because we were just a bit scared about walking around even though they said like it's safe to walk around the area um, and then we realized after we'd eaten in this Mexican place which was really nice but it wasn't really what we would have chosen there were so many bars and restaurants and we left as it started to get dusk and that's when it started to get lively so yeah I'd 100% recommend that it's really really cool and then the day no that day so that was Thursday so then Thursday evening we actually went to a Miami Heat game which was so good it was so much fun oh my god it was like it was so much fun I'm so happy that we did that because you just gotta do that if you come to America right like you need to go and see a basketball game and we actually met a couple in the daytime at Wynwood it was actually one of my followers so hello if you're watching um super sweet super nice couple and they were like oh we're going to the Miami Heat game later and we were like oh my god that is literally on our list but we just forgot about it so we managed to get tickets anyway and yeah it was just such a cool vibe it was so American like it was literally we we basically feel like we're in a movie every day here it's just it's so much fun um but yeah the Miami Heat game was really good everyone was just on this vibe like it was super cool but we left a little bit before it ended so we didn't actually see who won because we had an excursion the next day and we needed to be up really early um, which was a shame because that excursion didn't go ahead did it which is really annoying and, and is the reason why I got upset but anyway then we had the excursion yesterday um, which is Friday <clears throat> or supposed to have had it and I booked it on Thursday morning and it was to basically go down to the west key so the furthest key because i've oh guys you know how much i love dolphins okay and i'm just literally get thrills about when i see dolphins like the other day when i saw them in that water you couldn't even really see them but i still got thrills about it and it's one thing that i've always wanted to do and obviously we're, we're in florida the florida keys are right there three and a half hour drive it's not far and I saw this excursion and it was a whole day thing because it's a quite a long drive down there. So anyway, I booked it on Thursday morning. It was quite expensive. It was over 300 euros, but it's a once in a lifetime thing. So you get to go out on a boat um, and the dolphins basically like they jump out of the water next to the boat and you get to see them in the wild, which is just sounds amazing. And then afterwards you get to go and snorkel. It just sounds really good, don't it? Anyway. The pickup time was between 6.30 and 7.30. So already with that, I was, a red flag kind of rang in my head because I was like, why would they give a whole hour for the driver to sit there? Why wouldn't they give a specific time? But I thought, well, that's their instructions, so that's what we'll do. So the pickup point was literally around the corner, six minutes walk around the corner from here. And we got there at, we left our hotel at 6.40. We must have got there like just after 6.45. There was hardly anything on the roads. We certainly didn't see a coach, a bus or anything. We popped into the hotel and said like, is this 808 Collins Street? And they were like, yeah. Ooh. Like meanwhile, we could see right outside the window. So we could see that there wasn't a coach or a bus pull pulled up. Anyway, so we went out, sat down out the front, waiting, waiting, waiting. Nothing turned up to pick us up. And I was thinking, okay, this is really weird. I just, you know when you just have a gut feeling? It was one of those and I was trying not to be a negative Nancy but at the same time I had a gut feeling and usually when you have a gut feeling it's right so anyways it got to 7 33 and I'm like okay it's definitely not coming so I emailed the company and I also went into their app and did the chat thing the got the person in the chat chat thing was like I'm gonna call the provider and see what's gone on and then the person emailed me back 
like a different person and said the driver was there at 6.55 but couldn't, lo um, couldn't locate you on the sidewalk and I'm literally like well that's a lie because we were there before 6.55 and we were sitting there and no coach or bus turn up like the whole time it's a straight road like you can see so he basically lied he didn't even turn up but he said that he did and all they could say was sorry for the inconvenience we'll issue a refund or you can reschedule what I'm like I'm just like how can you just say I'm honestly I was I cried my eyes out I'm not gonna lie like I probably looked tired because I cried but I cried my eyes out because I was like this is something that I've really wanted to do and yeah they issued a refund great but I'm like it's not the point like you you need to sort that out anyways yeah I just had like a really shit day so I just feel like I don't want it to ruin my trip and so I walked up to the pier which was actually really nice and because I walked I got to take it all in it was 11 o'clock in the morning it was really busy it was really sunny everyone was out and it just it picked me up like everyone's energy just picked me up and I was literally like a mess in the morning and then by the time I'd got back to my hotel from my walk I just felt really happy it was like the best thing ever I'm like this is the best place to live like if you ever feel down just go out walk up to the pier just take in people's energy and you know it's gonna rub off on you so yeah that was yesterday um so yeah today i mean we haven't really got anything booked because yeah remains got meetings this morning we were gonna hire out a car and drive around remains idea but i'm like what about if we drive into the wrong neighborhood and like obviously there are dangerous neighborhoods around here and i'll just be really scared <laughs> so i um, don't really know about that so yeah i don't know we might go on the beach or not too sure what we're gonna do yet but so sorry, really should have mentioned who we booked that excursion with, just so you guys can be aware. It's actually a worldwide thing and they do um, excursions all around the world, but it's called Get Your Guide. And yeah, just be aware. Obviously, if you come to Miami and you wanna do that tour, um, just be aware, because I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone else. <laughs> that is so annoying. Guys, we just rode all the way to IHOP, it was like 35 minutes or something, like it felt longer to be honest. It was a really nice ride actually, but we just got here and it's closed. There's a notice here saying that it's closed. And we've been looking so forward to this because we haven't been to IHOP since LA, like 2017. It's the only IHOP. And it's the only IHOP on South Beach. So that was... <laughs> Guys, Romain just literally has left me and I just found this other guy and I thought, I said, hey mate, do you want to just go on a holiday? Because my, my husband just ran off. This is the new man. <laughs> it looks like Romain just with no hair. It's basically Romain with the um, Snapchat filter, the bald Snapchat filter. But it's actually real, he shaved it off. Because basically it's getting to that age, you know, where Look, the hairs are falling out. I saw out. such a good hairline. <laughs> didn't realise till we look back at pictures and we both zoom in. You zoom in on it as well, you're like, oh my god. <laughs> but I can't believe it, I guess I don't uh, notice it right now. And I'm like, shit, and at the back it's going kind of thin. And I always said, as soon as I go bold, it's going off. Yeah, so he's done it today. He suits it anyway, it's fine. But I um, just wanted to let you guys know about that calf that we stopped in. So that was actually next to IHOP and it was a it was busy and the food was actually good they were pumping the tunes it was very like authentic miami vibes so yeah if you guys um are up that way definitely check that cafe out and also friday and saturday is definitely way more pumping than the weekdays so like all week it's been like really kind of quite quiet thank you. Thank you. and yeah it's just been basically quiet and yesterday and today has been really, really pumping, especially today. Like, it's just crazy. Even the roads are really busy as well. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on, it's but everyone is just it. happy today. And um, so, yeah, we are gonna basically head out because we just put him back to freshen up. And now we're just gonna head out because England are playing, UFC's on later, so. It's coming yeah, we, up! We basically just want to get in with the vibes. That's what we're gonna do.
station. Even the police station looks happy. Look at it with its colourful lights. It doesn't even look real. How is that police station? Isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> so cool. It's our last dinner here. Woo! What we got? Half a chicken. We both got half a chicken. Mash, sweet plantain, black beans, rice, <laughs> and a burrito. Wait. Oh my god, shut up. Why has it got sparklies all over it? Bye bye Miami. 